exercise 1.15. So now I will copy the 1.14 and duplicate that. Let's see here. Uh, move or copy. Yes, move or copy. Create a copy. And in this book, yeah, that's correct. Okay. Oh, it went all the way in the beginning. Let's drag it to the right place. So it's in between 15 and 14. And now we need to rename it to 15. Copy absolute. All right, now we have a unique name so we can uh, safely store it, even though the name copy absolute is the same as 1.14, but we have 1.15 here, so it's unique. And the content is the same, but now we want to fix that problem that we addressed in 1.14. That problem is that when you have a relative reference that and move it downwards, you will lose that relative reference because it will go to a3 and that's wrong so you have to fix it manually and refer back to the right cell now let's talk about how to fix that we fix that with the dollar sign so a dollar sign looks like this so if we have such dollar signs in front of a and two that means the column is locked and the row is locked how to type in the dollar sign is that if you have a, a windows based computer you can use shift plus four then you have the dollar sign and uh, also you can just press f4 f4 when you press once you will see two dollar signs and when you keep pressing here you see it only locks the row and this one only lock the column and this one goes back to normal so in this case if you follow the instruction on the syllabus this one is recommended because the cell will always stay there but c2 will remain relative so let's try that so this one move down it works so c change to c3 because that's relative but the a2 is locked that works so until now you should have achieved the result of 1.15 but let's push it a little bit further this is actually not perfect we have the a and 2 both locked but in this case we only drag the formula downwards in column E, you see, and this column E will never change to column F when you go along with uh, different rows. So only the row number will change, but the column letter will never change. So in this case, locking A is not necessary, since A is a column number and the column will not change anyway. So let's delete that and copy that one downwards so this is the perfect answer uh, the answer on the syllabus is an acceptable one but we can make it better so this is a better version please remember this for your exam this is exercise 1.15 and i will see you in the next video